Let me tell you right now, y'all need to relax. Some of you woke people need to take a fucking nap because you're tired. Bad news, bad. What's going on everybody, your boy Jay is back in the building and today we have another episode of Canon Culture. So the show where basically I talk shit about all the stuff that is going on everywhere, period, at all. I also give a little bit of entertainment commentary and then teach you guys some life lessons. So today um, I'm not live streaming this episode, which I normally live stream them all, but I'm not live streaming this one because I'm still currently banned on YouTube and they refuse to answer any emails text messages phone calls they're just not really good about returning anything at all so they had my live stream revoked uh since last week because i was live streaming the podcast with heavenly and then they just shut my stream down and then revoked it and then i didn't receive an email why i don't have any strikes on my channel so i'm just confused as to what the fuck is going on over there at youtube i think they just don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't think anybody over there knows what the fuck they're doing. So, um, unfortunately, I've been live streaming everything on Twitch. So, if you don't follow me on Twitch, make sure you go ahead and do that. Also, make sure to scroll down to the description section and follow me on all my social media just in case you guys don't get my notifications when I upload and stuff. Uh, also, uh, new merch is available for Season 2 of Canon Culture. Um, I discontinued the Season 1 stuff. So, if you guys want your Season 1 gear, um, I might might do like a remix of some of that stuff and like reach out and get some people to do um some commissions for me and we'll see we'll see so uh season two stuff is available you guys can go and pick that up i tried to make everything as cheap as possible so everybody could get something um there's also phone cases now phone cases are on there stickers mugs um and i think maybe pillows i'm not sure i don't remember i don't think i set up pillows don't quote me on that one so anyway, today we are talking about a couple of things. Um, the first thing I wanted to jump into, and if you can't tell, I'm already annoyed by it. Titans. Fucking Titans. 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 Fucking Titans. Okay, so in case you guys didn't know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen photos come out of the new Teen Titans television show called Titans. So... Um, as much research as I have done, I haven't found that much stuff on it, but I have found that it doesn't take place in any current DC universe that exists right now. Um, maybe the cinematic one, so it's probably like an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. type thing. Um, it is led by Dick Grayson, and they're also introducing Jason Todd, as far as I know. So the leading Robin is actually uh, Dick Grayson, but he's supposed to be Nightwing. So it's the transition in between Robin to Nightwing while he's on the Titans. And then Jason Todd comes and leads the Titans. That's just from what I read from a few articles and these articles are everywhere. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, but it's supposed to be older Robin, at, of course, after he leaves Batman, starts the Teen Titans. I just... <sighs> I just want to let you guys know the first thing we're going to do is we're not going to judge any of this shit based on race. Okay. That's what the fuck we're not going to do. That's the first thing we're going to do because I know a lot of people were going at like, like we're just upset that Starfire is black. Fucking relax, you edgelord motherfuckers. Let me tell you right now, y'all need to relax. Some of you woke people need to take a fucking nap because you're tired. Okay, so I haven't looked into any of the actors, any of the actresses that are currently casted, which I usually do, but I was just so disinterested with seeing the rest of this because, not because of the costumes, not because of the plot or anything like that, just because we are not ready for a Titans show, for a Teen Titans show. We're just not there. We're just not ready for something like that. I think the first thing that WB needs to work on just as a whole studio is trying to figure out are you guys trying to copy what Marvel is trying to do or are you just trying to get your own value out of stuff because right now it just seems like they're just trying to copy ev literally everything that Marvel's doing Marvel comes out with a TV show Marvel comes out with a Netflix series Marvel has like this cinematic universe Marvel has this that and the other thing and so the first thing they want to do is we gotta make a Justice League. 
Marvel's got this, got the Avengers thing on lock. We gotta make a Justice League. We have to. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. You have no, it looks like you have no idea what you're doing. It looks like that. I'm sure you guys have some type of reins, like, like some type of handle on the wheel, but it don't look like that. It just really doesn't. And that bothers me. And that gets into the cinematic universe of it, which should be propelling all of your other series. So that way everything is congruent. That is what Marvel is good at. Marvel put together the first Iron Man, the second Iron Man, put together the Hulk. Uh, so that way that kind of like worked together, then introduced Thor, Captain America, like all of this stuff was like building up. You guys have not done the build up. That's the problem. There is no build up with, with, with DC. That is an issue because when you try to do the build up, you can't do it after the collaboration movie. You can't do it after Batman v Superman. It just, it just doesn't work. Post Batman versus Superman. You need to be putting the puzzle pieces together, not trying to show me the whole puzzle. Like, you're what you're trying to do is you're trying to show me the box. Like, this is what the puzzle is supposed to look like. You know, this is like Doomsday and Dark Side and all this other shit. You're trying to show me what the fin finished product is, but you don't even have the edge pieces put together. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily a bad thing, but the way that you're putting it together so far has been pretty bad. Like, I don't even know what to do with all of this information i don't even know what to do with all of this stuff all at one time like it's just all over the place so i don't think the world is ready for a titans show because you haven't had even properly introduced your version of batman in this universe yet so i don't understand how you could have a robin without a batman so don't introduce that a nightwing without a robin so don't introduce that i mean we of course have somewhat we have ben affleck who is i'm not sure what the situation is with him about being batman because i haven't really looked into that because there's not a single quote that i could find where he was like oh i don't want to be batman anymore and like of course as soon as i put this information out there on facebook and twitter everybody was like no he said he didn't want to be batman anymore blah 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 blah. but nobody could cite any fucking sources so i'm confused as to where the dilemma is maybe there's like contract issues or something i don't know but i think ben affleck has a robert downey jr thing going where he fits the role of batman and bruce wayne so i hopefully i hopefully think i would like to hope that he's not going to leave that position anyway let's go back to talking about titans we're not ready for this because there's no pre-established story number one there's not a whole lot of like demand for it either so i would think that would be a fucking issue like without any demand what makes you think that you could create this show and just throw it out there i mean really you probably could because with stuff like heroes arrow F the flash stuff like this all of these exist so maybe this is the one thing that wb needs in order to establish a staple on okay this is our home for the television stuff and then everything else just branches out from that so if you wanted to create i don't know maybe get rid of the show gotham and make a show called bloodhaven this would be a good intro to it so if your ultimate goal is to introduce nightwing as like the hero like he like he is the staple instead of like relying on batman in the cinematic universe rely on nightwing he is a very good solid character that i think would be really good to hold down a staple of like branching out so think of it this way if i had to give you an example smallville was kind of the jump off point for the for like a lot of these dc dc shows because after smallville we got arrow after arrow we got the flash after the flash we got um What's the one with all the side characters, DC Universe or whatever? You guys know what I'm talking about. So, like, without one show after the other, you wouldn't have had a build-up to this. So, you, we wouldn't have had Gotham come out. So, you know, just all these other things exist. So, what I'm saying is, I think we're, number one, not ready for this show. And, B, not ready to establish a solo lead as far as like this is who we're basing everything off of now if this guy playing robin is good enough and i think you could probably build a show off of that which really you could build a show off of any actor because as long as you just push them to their limit like just push them to to the best of their abilities to the best of their career it would be great to establish the titans first and with this show you also 
take the time to build up Robin and Starfire's relationship, if they even have one. Uh, Raven and Beast Boy. I don't know if they're going to introduce Cyborg in this. They may introduce Speedy. They may introduce Aqualad. Or may, they may, might go the Young Justice route and do like uh, Superboy. They may do, they may put, uh, what's her name? Is it Kara? Or whatever the fuck her name is. I don't know. But they could introduce a, a, a bunch of characters, but make Robin your main character. Like he is not like main character as far as like perspective, but introduce him as like he's clearly the leader. He is clearly the lead. Like anytime he is on the scene, it's like, yo, we have to pay attention to him. Make a lot of his things that he does very impactful for the rest of the team. Introduce the Red X storyline from the cartoon. Introduce um the his uh kind of like quarreling with a lot of like major villains and stuff like that in the dc universe that would be something that i would like to see and then after that make it to where it'll get a point like hopefully the show is good enough to last four or five seasons make it get to a point to where robin decides i want to go off by myself and that just leaves the rest of the titans then you can introduce bloodhaven which is your Nightwing storyline. And he can have his own villains. He can have his own adventures and stuff like that. And Nightwing then becomes your jump off. And your jump off is your point to where you can introduce characters into this television series. That'll either eventually end up in the cinematic universe. Or would eventually have crossover episodes with the Titans. So now you can have two successful shows instead of one. By just building up one character. And that's not even if you want to develop like a Trigon type of story. Or if you want to introduce uh, any new characters like Beast Boy against the Brain. Or if you want to have the Flash cameo. You can do that where Robin, uh, uh, you know, like calls in for assistance one day. And Batman's like, well, I can't, I can't be there myself. Or, uh, you know, let me just send somebody. And you can have Arrow. You can have The Flash. You can have tons of characters be introduced this way. So, I'm just saying it's a cash cow and you need to work on it. So, I'm not even going to comment on, like, all the costumes and the, the, the choices for actors and stuff. Because I feel like the internet is going to beat that like a dead horse. And that's not the position I hold, like, at all. Especially not as a young, aspiring actor. I don't want to shit on somebody else's performance when I haven't seen it. So, it wouldn't even make any sense. And I'm definitely not going to shit on a show that has clearly a strange direction. But there's nothing wrong with it. Everybody has an artistic expression to the way things are written and the way things are directed and the things that are presented in front of you so all i'm saying is let's wait for the show to come out then we can talk shit about it okay so until then i don't really want to hear shit so if you guys have any questions comments concerns please leave those down in the comment section i'll be addressing those specifically on this video and if they're dope and i think you introduce a good point i'm gonna make a video about it i definitely definitely want to keep this conversation going especially as somebody who would love to star write produce direct a show or a movie so that's definitely something like i could see this whole elaborate thing just rolling down down the hill and just wb and, and dc just making tons of money from it so you know what i mean like let's go let's get some work in so uh today's kind of thing that i also wanted to talk about uh on today's episode of canning culture is i have been particularly dealing with a lot of inconsistencies in my life and literally as you as you guys can or can't see i'm literally putting it together in my head right now as i'm like talking about it because the original thing that i wanted to talk about was just dealing with people with an attitude but also in my life right now i'm dealing with a lot of inconsistent people and i mean that like some of my closest friends and family around me and stuff like that just not keeping consistent energy and when i say that i mean it's applying the same type of logic to one situation that you do another and so if you have let's just say a friend who will go out of their way to do things unnecessary and you're always going out of your way to tell them hey you're being extra you're doing all this unnecessary shit once again you're overextending and you don't need to be and they're quick to tell you well you know this is just what i do or whatever and then the one time that you go out of line or the one time that you do something extra they got a whole lot to say and i just want the energy to be consistent throughout these people or maybe that's a bad example let's try say you have a friend who decides 
they don't want to talk to you no more or they don't want to participate in the same activities that you've been doing but they're they've been like you're kind of like going along with you the whole time and it's not like the type of activity that you're doing it's just you specifically that they're just like you know what i don't really like what you're doing or i don't really like to participate in this activity with you anymore but they don't give you any type of explanation as to why it's a negative benefit like i have this friend who i've been talking to for a cool minute and i'm really attached to this person and like this person and i have just really been like hanging out and like talking and all this other stuff but they can't just seem to keep their energy consistent as far as if they want to keep talking to me but here's another thing is the motherfucker won't communicate why or if they are or are not they just trying to sit on the fence at all times and then have me kind of like at their disposal whenever and so i'm speaking from a place of like pure frustration with this person and like we've been hanging out and talking in every now and then and like you can't hype hype yourself up because i'm getting to know you and what you're really like and like you know oh man i think that's dope your your hobbies your interests the things that you like the things that you're open to the places that you've been and the things that you've experienced i'm i'm digging that that's cool i like to be around you you're very great company but then you turn around and be like we can't talk no more and i'm like what how you gonna hype up your fucking company and then tell me nah, nah, nah it's all good like i don't i don't really know what it is that i want to do right now everything is just you're confused about the way that you feel motherfucker i'm telling you what the fuck is going on i'm just telling you listen i like hanging out with you it's been dope it's awesome just want to keep it that way if you don't know what the fuck is going on with you you should probably say that like that's that's a breakdown of communication like if two adults are not communicating and one is not saying hey i can't communicate with you because a b c and d motherfucker i'm not a i'm not a mind reader how do you expect me to read your mind i'm confused so you know that's just how i've been feeling about that shit lately and I think the amount of consistency that is not kept between human beings is just really fucking annoying. It just really is. And I can't, I can't take that shit. I don't have the time, the energy, or really, to be honest with you, the fucking patience or the mental stability to deal with adults that don't communicate, number one. And number two, hyping up this level of consistency that I'm used to hanging out with this person. Then all of a sudden, it's just like... I'm not really sure what I can do right now. Like, this isn't me. Or I don't do this type of thing. You was doing that shit two days ago, nigga. Two, literally 24 hours ago. So I don't understand what's changed. I don't know either. I just want to be inconsistent. So the moral of the story that I want to tell you guys is anytime you have some wonky, flip floppy motherfuckers like that in your life, the first thing you need to do is communicate with that shit. Like, address that shit immediately. Like, this is not something that I can deal with, first of all. Like, I don't know how anybody else does it. So, I'm even gonna apply that same, this same energy and this same logic towards this person today when I see them. And I'm just like, yo! The fuck you doing? That's, that's it. That's all I got. And, uh, I just wanna let them know because they watch my videos because i know you do uh number one i'm gonna need you to keep your shit consistent if you want to still hang out and like all this other shit and have all these activities and and just whatever and just keep it cool and casual motherfucker let me know okay but if you have no interest you need to also let me know so i can just immediately fuck off because i got other shit to do like i don't have time to be worried about your fucking Whatever the fuck kind of puzzle pieces you got going on over there, figure that shit out, then come talk to me, okay? Because the place that I'm at is at a place of actual stability for once, and I already got enough fucking anxiety. I don't need you making it worse, okay? So this is just how I'm handling the situation. It's your move. I'm telling you right now, I don't like the way you move in, and if you keep moving this way, you need to move the fuck away from me. That's what the fuck you need to do. So, you know, just trying to keep my energy on 100. So... But let me know what you guys think. I'm interested to have this conversation with you guys down in the comment section. Do you guys have flip floppy friends like that? Do you guys have friends that'll say one thing and then do another? Because that is another thing that bothers me is when people say they're going to do something like, yeah, man, I'll call you back in 10 minutes. Or, yeah, we can hang out on this date. And then motherfuckers don't pick up their phone. Motherfuckers don't call you back. 
Motherfuckers got an excuse for everything. Or they don't have no excuse. I just didn't. Dude, what the fuck you tell me you was, you was trying to hang out for? What the fuck? I don't understand. But then, I turn around. And I try to call you. I'd be like, yo, I'm having a bad day. Or, hey, I'm trying to hang out. Whatever. Nah, man, I'm not really feeling it. You ain't feeling it. Man, you was feeling it 15 minutes ago when you was calling me on my fucking lunch break. And you was trying to talk and shit. So... I don't know. I just can't stand people who do not keep the same consistent energy applied to the same shit. I can understand, like, if you change your mind. People change their mind all the time. It's it's just a thing that we do. Humans do it. There's nothing wrong with that. But there is something wrong with not addressing it with the other person. That's all I got to say. So, you know, and if you're not getting anything out of it, bro, dip. Dip set. That's all I got to say. But... That's pretty much it. We only have the two things today. Um, Today's a really slow day. It's Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to drop a like, please, because I need those. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you're already subscribed and you're not part of the notification squad, make sure you go ahead and fix that and click that bell. Okay, I'm going to need y'all to get notified whenever I upload, uh, whenever I post or anything like that. And, uh, you know, like I said before, guys, follow me on all my social media so you guys know what the fuck going on all the time. This has been your boy, Just Jay Sama, and I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.